last day, but still the same chapter with the same story from John 11. The main characters are Jesus, the disciples, the crowd, Mary, Martha, and you. There is a problem. This radical belief will not be televised this time. The hour has not yet come. Jesus will repeat this when addressing moments in his journey. Jesus was clearly saying that the time to reveal was not at that time. Reveal what, Jesus? When Jesus was led to the tomb that his friend Lazarus was buried, Jesus makes it quite clear that he is there to resurrect Lazarus so that the crowd, Mary, Martha, and the disciples could witness the glory of God. Jesus shares with them to move the stone that has been placed in front of the tomb. The first thing that comes out of Martha's mouth was that this is not a good idea because Lazarus, my brother, has been dead in the tomb for four days. Clearly, you understand, Jesus, that it is too late for anything to happen. His body would have a stench that would be unbearable. Jesus then responds by stating that by faith, you will see the glory of God. Jesus' response is a radical belief because bringing a person back to life has never been done before. The Bible says that when they remove the stone, Jesus gives a prayer of thanks to his father and calls Lazarus name. Lazarus departs from the tomb and then freed from the wrapped cloth that he has been bound in. The Bible says that many witnessed what had occurred and put their faith in Jesus, while others who saw what had occurred went back to the Pharisees and reported what had happened. This act, this act right here, which caused a radical belief, led to what we as believers celebrate as Good Friday. Jesus' journey on the earth was to testify to the truth on what his father was all about. Before Jesus, people lived their lives from the Mosaic laws. Any commands that the law stated, the Jews had to abide by them. And I'm only speculating that the people who went back to the Pharisees to report what they saw were only there to see if this act that Jesus had performed was truly from God. By Jesus spreading this radical belief to the people, this was the straw that broke the camel's back. Now the Pharisees are thinking that this radical belief will not be televised. I, I mean, we must stop this nonsense. And the only way we can stop this from happening, we must kill Jesus. I am understanding that anything that Jesus did or say when he was here on earth, there was a meaning behind it. Jesus had a way of stating the obvious, but only diving into what he did or say spiritually gives a total different meaning. I mean, he said, the time has not yet come, was one statement that Jesus would say. And when I dove into that phrase, the word time just stuck in my brain. Jesus God wrapped into flesh is the first to cross over from immortality into mortality. He was the first to go from eternal to time. I believe that any time that God places his hand from eternity into time, something that has not been seen before is going to be displayed. And there are two moments that I would like to address according to the Bible that shows the crossing over from eternal into time. And if you allow me to share with you some points so that we can look at those moments. 
You see, point number one is that um, both moments premises around John 3, 16, A. And that says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Point number two, anytime that God, who is eternal, places his hand into time, which is our past, our present, and our future, there will be a force that will attempt to stop this radical belief from being televised. In other words, display. And point number three, the earth that is a part of our time will behave in a way that is not normal. I mean, something on earth will seem to be out of place, out of pocket, not the normal. So let's look at my two moments. Moment number one, Jesus being born in a manger. For the Bible says that King Herod made a creed that all male babies would be killed at once. The reason for this creed was to stop this radical belief from being televised. By this moment, the Bible shares with us that God made a star that shined so bright and led the wise men who were astronomers to, to the manger to see the child who was the Messiah. This radical belief was now televised, which has shaped us today. Moment number two, Jesus performed many miracles by healing the sick, raising Lazarus, preaching and teaching the truth. Now we are on the day which we call Good Friday, a day that the Bible proclaims that by Jesus sharing, the truth led to Jesus being beat, mocked, sped at, tortured to carry the cross, crowned of thorns placed on his head, and nailed to the cross. By this radical belief, Jesus understood that he would have to be the suffering servant that Isaiah was recorded in saying. This same belief placed him in this position where people of the audience wept on his behalf. The Roman Empire and the Pharisees knew that they must kill this man named Jesus because if we kill this man, then the radical belief will not be televised. Did you know that a person can be killed, but that same person's belief can never die? It was around this time, noontime, that the earth did something that has never happened before. The Bible says that the sun refused to shine for three hours. And after three hours, a cry from the cross from Jesus' mouth says, my father, why has thou forsaken me? And he gives up the spirit causing the curtain in the temple to be torn in two from top to bottom. An earthquake came about splitting rocks and the graves opened up where many of God's saints were raised from their sleep. God's wrath was being displayed upon Jesus as he hung on the cross, giving his life for us. I want to just say thank you, Jesus, for giving your life for us. Jesus having this radical belief of truth is on that cross where many of the audience were now doubting if he was truly who he claimed to be. The ones in power feeling good about what they had accomplished with the death of our Lord Jesus Christ. And I can only imagine what they were saying and thinking. We did it. We did it. We killed Jesus. This radical belief will not be televised.